radio on Global Player and here. Play hard. This is Scotland's Heart. At seven o'clock, here's the latest. From Global's newsroom, I'm Alan Zizinski. Alex Salmond has walked from court an innocent man after being cleared of 13 sexual offence charges. The former First Minister was found not guilty on 12 charges, while a 13th was not proven. Also an acquittal under Scottish law. Phil McDonald reports from the High Court in Edinburgh. The jury took some five hours to acquit Alex Salmond of all the charges. The 65-year-old sat, showing no emotion as each of the verdicts were read out and left court court after thanking Judge Lady Dorian. He met waiting media outside. As many of you know, there are certain evidence that I would have liked to have seen led in this trial, but for a variety of reasons we were not able to do so. At some point, that information, that facts and that evidence will see the light of day, but it won't be this day. His successor, Nicola Sturgeon, has given her reaction. I am a strong believer in a rigorous, robust, independent judicial process where complaints of this nature, if they come forward, are properly and thoroughly investigated and a court reaches a decision and that's what's happened today. She said now is not the time to talk about the Scottish Government's handling of complaints against him due to the coronavirus crisis and Alex Salmond said the ordeal of his arrest was nothing compared to the nightmare of the pandemic everyone in this country is living through. Now we're going to be hearing from the Prime Minister in around an hour and a half. Boris Johnson will be addressing the nation about the coronavirus coronavirus outbreak from Downing Street. He's chairing a Cobra meeting about it at the moment. Four more people with the virus died in Scotland overnight. And Labour MP Anna McMorrin says the government needs to step up their plans. The clear advice just hasn't been there. We know that the government can, if they want to, give that clear advice. And they they showed that. They had a, a simple slogan during the election. We need it now to save lives. And the Scottish FA is urging all football clubs to stop training sessions because of the pandemic. They say teams are going against official advice. Hot weather. There's some scattered showers in places, but mainly just cloudy for most of us, with lows of around 7 degrees. From Global's Newsroom, you're up to date. This is hot. Good evening, it's Mark right here with you on my brand new show. I will be here every night, Monday to Thursday, 7 until 10, and continuing to do my show on a Sunday afternoon, 12 till 4. In these uncertain times, all I can promise is positivity and feel-good tunes. That's exactly what we're going to do, and we're going to start with this. It's Clean Bandit on Heart. 